All right, got this Craftsman tiller here. Pretty cool. What kind of engines it's got on here? Let's see. I can't even tell. It's a float. Got a float bowl. What kind of engine is this? It's overhead valves. It's not like brand new either. Let's see. Don't think it's a Griggs. this uh, a 170 that could be a Honda I sure don't know just gonna see if we can get started okay since the gas smells a little funky we're gonna have a look at this so we got the choke this is uh, there's really no fuel shut off here it looks like it's just gonna free flow. Let's see what the float bowl looks like. Some of this gas out of here. Well, it's yeah, getting some rust out of there. Okay, yeah, so that bowl's probably not gonna look that great. Let's get the bottom off of this thing. Rust doesn't seem too terrible. It's hard to see down in there. It's not bad, bad. I'm just gonna take the scaps out and look at that rusty, that rusty, rusty water. See that brown stuff? Yeah, it's pretty. Ooh. Yeah. So let's get this bowl off and see what it looks like. Yeah. So we've got a little. Got a little crud going on up in there. We could wipe that out. So at least we know we I mean, you know the float works. Probably just get get this bad gas out. A little rust in the uh, tank. Pretty normal. I don't know if it's gonna require de-rusting. Probably be a good idea to put a fuel filter onto this thing. There we go. Okay, that's barely trickling out, ain't it? Should be like free flowing, it ain't. I'm gonna put my mouth on this thing and try to blow it out. Okay, so if you watch here for any more, fuel will be flowing out. There we go. I think that loosened things up. Might still have some blockage. It's feeling pretty good though now. Actually looks like gas. And then get this bowl back on that. That gas is flowing and looking pretty good now. Get this back on. And it looked like there might have been a little water in it. Got a little evidence of some water droplets on there. So there was some water in there too. And what was in there is probably out now settles to the lowest uh, spot. No primer, just choke. Okay, I'm kind of doing this on the fly. I don't have any carburetor cleaner with me, so, or spray. So I'm gonna soak this up with some gas, and I'm gonna right down in there see what kind of response we get on this okay A little carburetor rebuild action maybe Not getting gas. Okay, gonna see what's going on with this carburetor. Real quick. 
I already saw it had some uh, junky junk in it. Let's see if this thing, a new carburetor was put on not too long ago, I guess. Uh, maybe something was wrong in that. I don't know. We may see here in a second if it is or not. Okay, let's hold this thing on. I do not know. Okay. Where is this being held on at? There's another. Okay. So we got that off. And now, should it slide off? Or not? Okay, we got the 10 mil right here. Got all my nuts right here. Two nuts and a bolt that's sliding off. And here's the carburetor. A lot of times I like to run two nuts, one nut down, then another one, tighten them together, and then back them off. But uh, the nuts that come with this thing are these cap I don't even know what they call them cap nuts, bullet nuts, something like that, whatever that is. So we don't have that option today. I just got vice grips to work on the other side. Let's see if I can get it to work on this side. And we're going to go lefty loosey. There we go. Those broke free pretty easy. That's nice. Okay. Get these studs out. That little spring and big governor link arm. Okay. Let's see what I can do with this. I already had this carburetor off once. So I'm taking it off again and gonna look down, see if I can get to that jet, see if there's anything obstructing that jet. And since I had it off already, it's not too bad. There's still a little gel in there. Let's see if I can get that jet out of there okay so in my box I actually I didn't come prepared for this job particular but I do have my screwdriver that I use that I like to use for these Honda type mowers and this this is just going real easy because this is a brand new carburetor but you want to use the right size screwdriver this is just a flat head but it fits right down in here and you have a slotted main jet right here and Above that, it's above it because this is the bottom right here. Above that is the emulsion tube. So this still has a little yucky in it. Let's go ahead and pop this out. Get this main jet out of here. So there's the main jet. I'm going to look through it. See if you can see daylight going through there. Might not be able to see it, the camera. I can't see it through the camera. So I'm just going to kind of look through it. Blow through a little bit. I'm not seeing light. So that main jet is clogged up. Besides that gasket being the wrong place. And here's the emulsion tube. You put that back in. Okay, and these... I'm sure all of these holes are nice and clear. Yeah, it just looks so clean. But this main jet is clogged up. So we'll go snip off a piece of wire from the wire brush and unplug that main jet. Okay, so all I had in my box was uh, this wire brush. So I pulled down a couple strands and kind of wound up a couple strands together. I can fit about two, maybe even three down in this main jet hole. And so now definitely the wire is going through it. It's happy. Let's go back and forth, run around a few times, and blow, look, and it looks really good. I don't know if you can see that sunshine going through it. Yep, now you can see it. Perfect. Put that back together. 
got the emulsion tube in properly making sure that the top part is sticking out in the throat of the carburetor I'll show you here in a second all right so looking up in there there's a little little gold piece that's just beyond the butterfly valve there's that little gold on the bottom there coming up from the bottom see that coming in and out and it should be good so we have to get this without destroying it we're going to try to get this see we got two gaskets sandwiched together here pretty sure this goes against the um, intake manifold and then this one probably stays put okay looks like we got uh, that off there yeah, that's the way it's supposed to go on. Get this flow bowl back on. Got the ring back in there. The bowl, like putting this opposite the fuel inlet, like that. Fuel inlet, and then the drain plugs opposite that. <laughs> so we have Ray here. Ray's tiller had a clogged main jet and the gasket was missing between the carburetor and the manifold they were both stacked up here so we'll just get this tight again and uh should be running here in a second so these are back together and should be good to go so this is i might put a little note on here so that's this is choke going this way that's choke back so choke back and should be running so we got fuel line back on everything's back together got it in the rabbit over there there we go Off. It's absolutely beautiful. Awesome. You're a, a mastermind on small ones. <laughs> Hear that, everybody? All right. It's, it's the truth. <laughs> I was wondering. I've never, I've never worked on this particular engine before, but they're all. And I, I think it's a Honda. That's a Honda carburetor for sure. Really? Okay. Yes, it is a Honda engine, but it doesn't say it on there anywhere. Um, without that air cleaner, for some reason, these tillers engines, yeah, they don't run really good and perfect without the air cleaner cover on there. So now with it on there, it's probably going to run a little better. So we have, that's the fast speed choke back. And... Watching you how you do it, and okay. uh, that's pretty much what I do too. So really, yeah. okay, to get it right yeah, at the RPM. Yeah, I usually get it going, and then I pull it back to where it runs the best. Perfect, and that's uh, perfect. That's what we do, perfect. All right, well, I think you got it going good. All right, I might do a little road killing tomorrow.